In this video, let's learn how to write the formula for some ionic compounds. Now for the first one, we have to think about the formula of zinc chloride. And the main idea of writing the formula of an ionic compound is that we need to keep in mind that the total charge on the compound, on the final ionic compound, it has to be zero. The total charge is always zero. And what is total charge? Well, total charge is the charge that comes from cations plus the charge from anions. In this, in this ionic compound, we have zinc chloride. So zinc would be the cation because it's the metal and chloride would be the anion because it's, it's the non, it's the non-metal. Now, if you think about the charge that a zinc ion has, we can have a look at the Roman numerals, which, which is written inside the brackets. So this is two. So the zinc ion really looks it's Zn plus 2 and the chloride ion we can have a look at the periodic table so if we bring if we have a look at the periodic table we can see that chloride lies right over here this is group 17 and that means that it has to gain one more electron to form a complete octet the chloride ion would be Cl it would be Cl minus this would be Cl Cl minus now the total charge has to be zero so if we if we have a look at the to two ions in the picture if we take one Zn ion so this is one into plus two and if we take two chloride ions two into minus one the charge on the chloride ion this becomes equal to zero so this means that one ion of Zn plus two ions of chloride will be required to make the total charge of this ionic compound to be zero so the formula becomes Zn Cl Okay, let's have a look at some more. Now we have sodium sulfate. So again, the total charge on the ionic compound has to be zero. Total charge is charge from cations plus charge from anions. So here the cation would be sodium. What is the charge that a sodium ion has? Well, we can have a look at the periodic table again. So sodium really lies over here. This is, this is group one, which means the sodium ion is Na plus and sulfate ion is SO4 minus 2. It's a polyatomic ion with a charge of negative 2. And we can see that sodium has 1 plus 1, sulfate has minus 2. So if we take if we take 2 sodium and 1 sulfate, the charge should come out to be 0. So the charge from cation, if, if we take 2 cations with plus 1 charge, and if we add it to 1 anion with a minus 2 charge, this will come out to be 0. So that means the formula would be Na2SO4 we are taking two sodium ions okay let's have a look at one more here we have ammonium nitrate now both of these are polyatomic ions and a cation for ammonium it is nh4 plus it has plus one charge and nitrate is no3 minus it has a negative one charge now the total charge on the ionic compound has to be zero and in this case the charge on cation is plus one charge on the anion is minus one so we can take one of each so this would be just one if we take one of plus one and if we add it to just taking one of minus one, this will come out to be equal to zero. So the formula becomes NH4NO3.